What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa to talk a little bit about modeling of cars. I know a lot of you guys have been asking how to build your own set of Corsa cars and stuff like that. So we're gonna get into some of the basics and start building a new drift car. We are staring at a uh, V8 powered. 350z but that's for another episode but we're going to get into building a car and stuff like that modeling it how i do it things i do to change the cars up to make it my own and things of that nature so make sure you follow me on all social media all of which are found in the description box below uh, okay okay break the internet mention me and tell it freeze i'm coming back so brb pretending like i never leave i gotta eat that's what they mean by check the feed like the gram tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me Block it out, going live is like a dream, you know they say you made it big if your face is on the meme. Oh. So, the biggest thing we need to do first and foremost is pick a car that we're going to do. So, I do like BMW since you guys know I work for BMW. So, I figured why not do the M4 GTS here in a set of Corsa. So, this is a model that was done by somebody and we downloaded it. It is a very clean model. I love the halos and of course the lights and everything work. Of course, we're going to have to add the third brake lights and things of that nature. And the interior is very uh, plain. Now the GTS does have the factory cage in there. So we're going to be adding some bars to this cage. Probably deleting the big foam padding to make it a full blown out drift car. So when we need to get a car out of a set of Corsa is the first step getting out of a set of Corsa and into our modeling software so that is done by right here in the CM showroom you have unpack can 5 now if you don't have unpack unpack can 5 that's because you don't have developer mode activated on your content manager which to get developer mode is simple and very easy basically you go into settings you go into content manager and go into general and then right here where you see app version click on that a whole bunch of times I've already done it so it won't do anything you click on it a whole bunch of times and a little message will pop up that says activate developer mode what I do is click activate developer mode and then install all the plugins that it'll ask you to install it'll have all the plugins here they'll show up under the little plugins menu and you will install all of them FBX converter and all this stuff and this is all activated with developer mode so it does look like I have a new uh, update on that but that's not what we're working on so once you have developer mode active and you go into content and go into cars find the car you want click CM showroom it'll pull it up you can take a look at it do what you want with it we're gonna have to do some uh, modifications on it because we you know we are gonna make this a full blown out drift car so we go click unpack k and 5 it's gonna take a minute depending on the car file depending on your processor depending on you know what you have and then we will get the FBX files and the texture folder with all the textures that are part of the car with the license plates the interiors the brake rotors and every knitting nitty-gritty stuff now that stuff's gonna come into play a little bit later so basically once you get the FBX we're gonna come up here we're gonna close our content manager I would recommend creating a folder. I have a folder on my desktop that says AC Mods. We are not going to work with those because we've already been working with that. We've got the dragon in the background, dragon center. So, I created a folder that says AC Mods. Take the texture folder and the FBX and the uh, 3D object file that you got from exporting the KN5 and drag it over into, the AC, into a folder or whatever. I have my AC Mods folder and now they're here. I have my physics for my 14 and I got some different tire different tire textures and things of that nature in here as well if I want to rock some Falcon tires on the car some Nexon tires things I've pulled off of other cars for texture files so now we have to get into our design studio which I use 3ds Max so we're gonna open up 3ds Max and we're going to import the FBX file into 3ds Max and pull up the model and then start doing some tweaking and things of that nature But 3ds Max does take a little bit of time to load so be patient And if you don't have 3ds Max you can use other tools, but I'm just showing you what I use so Once 3ds Max opens up there's a couple major things that you have to be very crucial to get and make sure that you do when you're importing files and such because otherwise you'll have like an RC car or something. So we're going to maximize this. Well, we'll use a normal perspective use for right now. So you go into file, go into import, go into that 
folder you have and you should have an FBX file. Click on the M4, click open. You're going to want to do file content as add. You don't want to do update or animate, you just want to click add. It's going to import all of the stuff, for, you know, 444 elements and all those kind of things. You don't need to worry about anything else. The biggest thing right here is under advanced options. Unit scale. The scale factor. you got to make sure it's 1. So if you see if I scroll through this, it changes. No matter what it is, whether it's meters, decimals, centimeters, millimeters, wherever. Wherever that number goes to 1.0, Make sure you import it as a 1.0 because otherwise, like I said, you'll have a little RC car or a massive giant monster car on the track. So, click OK. It's going to import everything. So now you can see we have a different views, top frame, wireframe and stuff. I love working in the default shading, the perspective one, so I'm just going to maximize that. So here is our car in our design studio now we got a bunch of stuff out here these are just different cam flying cameras and things that were modified into the car we're not going to mess with anything like that right now so what I would recommend doing first and foremost to start is get rid of all these boxes right now so these boxes if you go into tools and you go into scene explorer you'll see every bit and piece of this car you'll see every little arrow door and the door opens up to poly meshes and all kinds of things which could get very confusing so if you're first starting off and you want to do basic stuff like change the wheels and do little bits and things uh, that's what we're here to do today I could get into full-blown building a whole model a whole shell and texturing and all that stuff but that takes a long time and I just want to give you guys a basics because I know you guys want to know basics on how to change wheels and do interior work and stuff like I do on my cars that I built so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all of these blue boxes we're gonna highlight all the blue boxes we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to hide selected get rid of those boxes get rid of all these boxes hide selected hide selected and we can get rid of all the boxes we can bring them back but we don't need them right now so now we have a clean working basically platform so if you guys notice a lot of my drift cars don't have windows it's because I don't like to have the windows in the cars because when you are drifting you have to close your windows anyways or have them open for purposes of that so if I click on the window and I click delete it's going to delete the outer layer of the window and it's also going to delete the outer layer of the mirror so I don't want to do that I mean I guess I could delete the outer layer of the mirror but for sake of that if there's things that are combined that you want to delete one part you go up into this little elements area editable mesh and you can click on elements and I can click on just the mirror or window and I can delete just the window portion now if we go back this windows by itself we're gonna click delete and now we can click delete again now we have no window in this car so we can do the same thing for the other side because I don't like having front windows in my cars just because like I said, when you're on a drift track or in a real car, you have to have your windows down. So we have the windows down. So the, the M4 GTS, let's come with some pretty cool bucket seats. But of course, you know, we're going to change those up. We're going to be throwing in some NRG seats. And we're going to be changing up the interior. We're going to be adding a manual shifter, an actual handbrake. We're going to be getting rid of this wheel, which I think we can get rid of the outer scale. We can get rid of pretty much the whole wheel. So that's how you just go in deleting simple objects and you can do the same thing with say your wheels so we can click on our wheel we can go down here where we have left front wheel if we max that is the box for the wheel which you're going to need to keep because you got to keep everything in that box because that's the scale box of the car this is what the game knows is the wheel anything in here in this wheel box will rotate like a wheel and suspension wise as well anything that's in the suspension box will also turn as like a hub and stuff of that nature so these are all the, the boxes and stuff that the game needs to know for the data for a set of courses so that's why getting a car pulling it out and doing basic stuff like this is the start of it now i don't really like the wing too much on the gts but i think we're going to leave it for sake and purposes now we can also delete the m4 which would also delete that portion so we would do the same simple thing of doing elements and then we can highlight this and we can get rid of that stuff we're actually not going to get rid of the m4 logo we are going to get rid of this license plate though 
click on it, click delete, simple as that, it's gone, no more license plate, and we'll leave everything else it is. We can delete the hood and delete there, and it doesn't really have a good model of an engine in there, so we can actually delete that and put an engine in there if we wanted to. That's a little more intense. We're going to control Z that to get our stuff back. So basically, we got our car from the game into our modeling studio. We deleted a couple basic objects. So we are going to be switching the wheels on this car and putting a full cage in there. I think we can delete this padding. Yep, yep, there's a full roll bar under there. We can delete the foam little strips there. Now, if we want to be able to see through this, we can click on it and do the same thing we did with the box. It's hide selected, hide selected. There's many layers, apparently. There we go. Now we have all to looking. What is all that? Is that the silver wire ties? It's our silver wire ties. So we're going to get rid of those wire ties because we don't need those. I do love the look of the interior of this car. It looks like it has almost like a fuel bottle in there or supposed to be a fire extinguisher. We're going to probably put a real fire extinguisher in there. So we are slowly starting to build this car. So make sure you guys follow my channel if you guys want to continue the modeling of this M4. We're going to be doing a lot of work with the M4. We're going to be doing the wheels. We're going to be doing the suspension work. We're going to be getting into a full blown out drift car because I have not built one of these yet, so you guys are going to follow me along as I'm building this car. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. In the next episode of modeling, I'm going to get into getting rid of these wheels, even though I'm kind of a fan of these wheels in a sense, but not. So we're going to get rid of the wheels, we're going to put some other wheels on it, we're going to do the interior work and stuff like that, then we're going to get it back into the game, export it into the game, take a look at what it looks like in-game, and make sure everything works. So make sure you guys come in back for the next episode of basically modeling basics here in a set of Corsa to do your own custom cars from a normal car or change a car that you like to make it your own. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Uh, okay, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so be or be pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like